Hi everyone, I'm super excited to be here today. My name is Melanie Wood, founder of Speaking Styles, and today I am joined by Daniel. Uh, I'm going to let Daniel be able to introduce himself um, and tell us a little bit more about himself. Hi, um, my name is Daniel. Um, I run a business where I do uh, photography and videography for predominantly small businesses. Um, just helping them with their personal branding and their social media stuff. I've got here just a bit of portfolio stuff if you want to take a look. So if you want to take a look at this work, you can just go to danieloveren.com.au. Yeah. My work is like adventure oriented stuff, or, you know, landscapes, portraits. But then I also, the work that I do with my clients is kind of cleaner, glossier stuff just to help them, you know, produce a kind of higher quality professional look, but also have this you know, authentic and genuine and honest version of themselves portrayed online. So typically that's the work that I do. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really good to be here chatting and hopefully I can answer some questions for everybody today. And it forces you, the funny thing I find as well is, especially with my clients, they hate listening to themselves. Like once I, yeah. first time I work with them and it's the first time they actually have to sit with it and listen to themselves speak. It's this yeah. really weird experience where they're super critical on themselves and you know, they say, oh, I could have said that more clearly or, you know, and they kind of get their heads about it, but exposing yourself to that and kind of going, okay, you know, this is clear. It is, I'm telling the message that I want to tell, you know, maybe next time I might clean up my language a little bit, or I might make sure to reference that one thing. But the process of actually sitting down and listening to yourself speak, I find is, is really helpful and, and has helped my clients quite a bit with the work that I do. Um, oh, de definitely, and and I, I I'm the same, and 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 my clients would you know they cringe at like no I've done the video you look yeah. at it. I don't <laughs> want to look at it no no and I and I totally get that because I I was there once I, I can yeah. definitely relate that I never ever went back through any of my any of my videos because it, it, it you, you sound very different to the way other people hear you yes but I think that you want to was my recommendation is that you want to get to that point of I suppose that you own who you are, you absolutely love who you are and be like, check her out. Like she yeah, sounds yeah. awesome. She's amazing. You know, now when I look back at myself, when I, you know, have seen myself present, I'm just like, check her out. Like she owns <laughs> her stuff. I'm just like, check her out. Because it's that thing of like, you really want to own it every time. And I know that that takes time. So for people yeah. watching that go, oh, I'm not there yet. I wasn't there on day one definitely took me a long time to get to that place of yeah. being able to watch myself back and just be like wow like I've come so far to be able to actually sit there not be critical actually like cheerleading myself on and being yeah. like wow that's yeah. awesome um, so we want to be able to get to that point of, yeah, you're not being super, super critical, but as you say, it's going into it. And I suppose in a robotic way of going, go on, listen to yourself, watch yourself to, uh, to do with the language. Don't go on with your monkey mind to say, you know, you yeah. did a terrible job and all the rest of it. It's actually go in the way that if you gave it to someone else to look at as an outsider, it's just like really robotic about it and then move on and, you know, yeah. to get yourself being okay with doing those things and then start to be like, wow, she's awesome. <laughs> I think um, people, people get so caught up in the idea of what is, what am I, what's the peer group going to think, you know, what is this next person going to think of me? And if you're providing honest, authentic information to your community, that's amazing. Like, that's incredible. If you have the guts to get up and go, you know what, I have something that I want to share. I'm super out of my comfort zone, but you know, I'm going to do this anyway. I think that's incredible. And the only people who are going to stand up and try and, you know, take you down for that are people who are scared to do it themselves. You know, people yeah. who are so critical on themselves that they can't make that first step themselves. So yeah, I think it's to, to pursue it. And it's very daunting to put yourself there and to, to jump out of your comfort zone. But in a world where things are moving to digital, where connection is so important, being able to go out and do conferences, do you know, whatever it is that your goal might be, um, it's super important to get comfortable with that space because it just seems to be getting more and more important to have either that digital presence or that you know, community built or, or whatever it happens to be. So it's mm. be in your best interests to, <laughs> to buy yeah. that and, and kind of take yourself to that place. So. 
Definitely, and, and and absolutely agree. And I think as things move forward, it's, it, there's going to be the, both the balance of now online and offline. Um, you know, we relied a lot more of offline. I know I did myself as much as I did a lot online. I didn't have to rely on it in terms of growing my business as much as is offline. Yeah, but I think, definitely. yeah, as you say, it's moving forward. But I think that having these last few months, it's really forced people to step up and start doing more things online getting that comfortable with it but I would say is that um, yeah it's strongly saying to people is that make sure you've got a balance because that's amazing to have both of those um, in your in your tool belts is you yeah. know how you can communicate your business whether online or offline you're able to do both because um, you can reach more people and help more people and you get to grow and, and learn those skills that you probably kind of went I don't really need to do that over here because we never really had to, right? And, and, yeah, exactly. But again, you know, we, we never, we're never going to grow not unless we're out of our comfort zone. And I think that's taught a lot of people over the last few months around really being forced to step out of your comfort zone yeah. and, and really start owning that space. And, and it is about, you've just got to go out there and do it and practice it, get good at it. It's not going to be there on day one. I say done is better than perfect. Yes. You just got to get started. Like, you know, I say to people, um, I have shared it in my closed group before, like my first live that I ever did of going. <laughs> so done. I, and, you know, and I was looking at the camera for like, I think a minute going, what am I meant to be looking at? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, I'm live. Oh, right. Okay. People. <laughs> so, you know, those, those are the things that people don't now don't get to see of me. And I, and I think sometimes I've shared it in my closed group going, this was with me when I did my first live, you know, two, three years ago. Yeah, you know, these are the things that you guys don't get to see of me now. I said, but I was there on day one as well. I was there when I used to take, you know, 50 takes when I used to do pre-recorded used to be exhausted by the end of it. So I always yeah. just say done is better than perfect because it's so much more stressful. That's it. That's it. And you do have to, the awareness of that it's the start of the journey is so important. Yeah, this has been um, amazing. Do you yeah. have any fi final words to anybody or where we can find you if anybody yeah, yeah. wants to connect with you? Yeah, well, firstly, thanks for taking the time. I know you're very busy. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're taking the time out of your Thursday. Um, yeah, if you are interested, even if you just have questions, I know a lot of people get a little bit shy, they don't want to reach out, but if you have any questions at all, you can find me at Daniel Overend Freelance on Facebook or scroll back into the web, into the, the video and find my website there, danieloverend.com.au. Um, yeah. I, I hope if anybody feels like reaching out, feel free. Um, otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for, um, for the conversation and hopefully we get to keep chatting and, and, and keep building community and, and uplifting people. So. Yeah, I think definitely definitely and we'll be sharing this video with some people are watching this we'll be sharing this video anyway and, and we'll be able to tag each other so people can then follow follow both of us and definitely so definitely i would say people reach out to to daniel on anything to do with um videography or editing or any of these things definitely reach reach out to, to daniel and if anybody needs any help with speaking in front of a camera then feel free to to reach out to me um on facebook or well, my business page is speaking style or check me out on Melanie Wood just on my Facebook page as well and um, nice. yeah look forward to connecting with anybody else and having some more future conversations between me and, me and Daniel and um, yeah. thank you everybody for watching